Hello viewers today we are talking about Alexander Roslin was a celebrated 18th century Swedish portrait painter, renowned for his exquisite and lifelike depictions of European nobility and aristocracy. Born on July 15, 1718, in Malmö, Sweden, Roslin's artistic talents would propel him to international fame, earning him recognition and patronage throughout Europe. His contributions to the art world not only left an indelible mark on the genre of portraiture but also offer a fascinating glimpse into the society and culture of his time. Roslin's early life provided few hints of the artistic brilliance that would later define his career. He was the son of a naval physician, and his family had no artistic lineage to speak of. Nevertheless, his innate talent began to emerge during his childhood, and by the age of 16, Roslin had enrolled at the Royal Swedish Academy of Arts in Stockholm. There, he honed his skills under the tutelage of the renowned French portrait painter, Jacques-André Joseph Avenud, who had settled in Sweden. One of Roslin's Early works that garnered attention was his portrait of Gustav Frederick Hedman, a prominent Swedish merchant. This piece not only showcased Roslin's emerging talent but also brought him into the realm of Stockholm's upper echelons. Encouraged by his success, he ventured to Paris in 1747, a city at the forefront of the European art scene during the 18th century. In Paris, Roslin was quickly embraced by the artistic circles of the time. He was admitted to the prestigious Royal Academy of Painting and Sculpture and became a favorite portraitist among the French nobility. His early portraits, characterized by meticulous attention to detail and a remarkable ability to Capture the essence of his subjects, earned him commissions from notable figures such as Madame de Pompadour, the official chief mistress of Louis XV. One of Roslin's most iconic works during this period is the portrait of Jean-Jacques Rousseau, the renowned philosopher and writer. The painting, created in 1753, portrays Rousseau with a sense of contemplation and intensity, capturing the intellectual spirit of the Enlightenment era. In 1753, Roslin married Marie-Suzanne Gurist, a talented pastel artist herself. Their partnership proved to be not only personally fulfilling but also professionally enriching. Marie-Suzanne often collaborated with her husband, contributing her skills to the exquisite pastel backgrounds that became a hallmark of Roslin's portraits. Roslin's reputation continued to grow, and he soon found himself in high demand throughout Europe. In 1757, he traveled to Vienna to paint the Austrian imperial family, including Empress Marie.